welcome to the sixth part <coughs> and before we go to the excel there's a very important thing remains that is the fuel lines and let's discuss all the options we have the an the rubber uh, fuel line or a uh, ptfe or a nitrile or a polyurethane okay so let's start it okay this is quite a mess over here okay guys let's begin the fuel uh, fuel fitting so this is your oem and honda fit rail and this is uh, crv rail okay uh, the other end i already have modified but i will uh, show you how it previously looked okay So <clears throat> the problem with it that this is uh, I remove the K series rail for you guys. So the K series end is bigger diameter and the Honda Fit or CRD has a smaller diameter. So this is how uh, the Honda Fit and CRD uh, fitting looked. Okay, this is the 90 degree and this is written over here 6.30. Okay, I will show you what is this. This okay. So on this end you do not need to change the fitting because. You are coupling it with your again same fuel line, fuel line, pipe. Okay. On the other hand, you will need a yes. This is 7.89 or 7.95. Both will work. Okay. So this end, you will need such type of fitting. Okay. These can also come with the white one or with the blue one. This does not matter. Sometimes they come with this plastic. Sometimes they come with the press button. These are called quick disconnect fitting. Okay. So to fit this fitting. Uh, I was uh, uh, lucky because there was a cut fuel, uh, cut uh, piece of fuel rail with my engine came with my engine. Okay, so that was fitting over it. Okay, already there was a fitting over it. So what I did was just I cut that and extracted the fitting. Okay, just uh, cut it with the vertical blade and the fitting will come out. So just attach that fitting to your in uh, case uh, this OEM Honda Fit fuel rail, cut the other end and attach that fitting, the 90 degree fitting which you will uh, extract from the cut uh, piece which will come with your fuel rail, okay? Just attach that with this. But the problem is, be very careful because the inside is uh, this hard nylon, okay? So this is very easy to kink, okay? Or so if you overheat it, it will swell and look at what will happen, okay? So this will become useless okay so be careful with it and do not kink it this is also written clearly fuel holes do not kink okay so if that kinks it's useless <coughs> so what I used that's the boiling water okay just dip well boiling water and it will soften out or if you want to use this lighter or heat gun that's your choice, okay? But do that away from the car because fuel and fire are not good combination, okay? So, <clears throat> so this was the end product. But there is a problem with this, okay? There are the curves which are for the older engine which you are, were using. But now for the case series, the exhaust setup is different, okay? Especially if you are turbo. So you cannot unkink these, okay? These are hard curves, okay? So. What was the problem? This was too near to the exhaust, okay? Let me show you. So the pipes, they, the fuel pipes, a hard pipe starts from down below, okay? So when we fit that fitting to there, this pipe was almost one inch above from exhaust, okay? I uh, did wrap it but there was always something on my mind because that my fuel pipe is very near to the exhaust so so this one fitted there and this uh, on the k series fuel rail here the 90 degree end so to solve that problem let me tell you the method number two that is to make your custom fuel line okay and that uses these to use these are the best. These are 
पोलीयूरिथेन और नाइट्राइल पाइप्स ओके सो आई विल शेयर यू द लिंक्स एंड दिस वन हैज अ बिगर डायमीटर दिस इज टेन बाय सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव एम एम ओके एंड वी विल बी यूजिंग दिस पाइप द कलर डजेंट मैटर दे कम ऑल कलर एट बाय फाइव ओके ओके जस्ट टाइप एन पोलियोरिथेन Uh, pipe and a lot of links will open and this is a good seller just click it and it's very cheap you know one to nine dollar and then we will select the um, this fitting what was that ah huh, eight by five okay and then any color you want okay that's your choice let's select blue and then length usually two two meter will be sufficient same pipe what I was using okay same color okay so these are the best okay I use them inside my full tank outside and Uh, over two years, nothing happened. Okay, these are just like new. Okay. So this we will be using. <coughs> so it's very easy. Just, but we will be needing a straight fitting over where our fuel line is. Let me show you. On here, if we use again the ninety degree. same problem will happen this pipe will be very near to so we will be use a straight fitting over here like i am using that uh, white pipe you see that moving pipe that is gently curving okay let's see this pipe okay so we will be uh, fit, uh, ordering a straight fitting for that and on this end again 90 degree okay 90 degree going to your uh, fuel rail so I will uh, tell you the links. Okay, so just type in this uh, quick disconnect fuel fitting and uh, type in the size six point thirty mm we want. So this is that, and we will be ordering the straight type. Okay, just choose the straight type. Okay, so this is usually the green coating, and look at that six to thirty liter over here. So and the other side, the KCD side, will we will be ordering a uh, this one. 7.89 or 7.95 okay so this one and we will be adding the 90 degree okay 90 degree one and internal diameter of our pipe is 5 mm so this is good because this will tightly fit okay slightly pipe will heat up and slightly slightly fit over a 6 mm diameter okay so we don't need to order this part okay just we need to order this one but if this is coming this is uh, let it come okay we just need to apply our pipe to this side okay but we order 90 degree 90 degree go over here and straight over the where our stock honda fit or cr the fuel line will connect okay and sometime this is uh, this is next size okay 6.30 then 7.89 and then there is 9.89 okay 9.89 this is our next size and then there is 9.89 okay and this applies over to this fitting okay when i was uh, operating my fuel line to end line i thought this was 5 by 16 okay because all the other end was 5 by 16 but this was actually 3 by 8 okay so that 9 dot 8 tight fitting will apply over here okay and look at that this si si diameter is bigger and from here honda just made the diameter smaller okay 1 by 4 we have our seeing in the engine bay okay so you uh you don't need to drill it here for the big line okay this oem honda uh, crd or honda fit and uh, this fitting is a big one okay just your pipe a big pipe will continue from here if you want to add uh, turbo and make power to like 500 hp or 600 hp then this is needed otherwise not and uh, you can uh, extract uh, 90 degree from your k series fuel rail okay the cut piece which will come from your engine you can uh, just cut it and extract this fitting and one end will attach to this okay and similarly this is very easy to uh, heat this is slightly softer material so there is no kinking problem this is also slightly flexible okay so it's very easily with fit fit over to you are this uh, 90 degree fitting but these are uh, of course there is the uh, on factory line there is a protective rubber coating okay this one so these don't have such coating for that reason i will show you uh, just order the vulcon sleeve heat sleeve okay 
the white and sleeve for the fuel you will be ordering is 10 mm okay this one or this color anything you want okay similarly these other have small these, uh, these uh, fiber insulation does not have uh, in, inside material that material so or any fiber wrap these type of golden wraps are uh, not so good okay look at that sometime they easily uh, come off okay look at that okay now the third option of course is the AL line but buy those use those AL line which have this white lining inside that white plastic okay this is called PTFE fuel line okay these are also nylon braided the black material which uh, I am using I think in my fit okay 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 yeah that is nylon braided on my fit okay but in my CRZ I think I am using this has been wrapped okay so it does not matter this is more strong but less flexible okay the steel braided but use that PTFE white lining one okay okay just to type PTFE and six line so a lot of these are nylon braided these are steel braided but inner should be this white material okay PTFE okay then now let's order the fittings so on uh, OEM Honda fit or Sierra side this 1 by 4 fitting will be needed okay and on here our AN6 fitting will be needed okay and this will be the fitting on the K series line okay 5 by 16 okay on the CRZ or fit fuel side 1 by 4 will be needed on the K series 5 by 16 fitting will be needed okay the 90 degree and if you are upgrading uh, this thing okay you are uh, you want to continue your AL line from this like I am using then uh, this fitting will be needed AN2 3 by 8 SA okay so this covers our AN, line, AN fitting and I won't go into the details how to make the AN lines but you can find any any videos uh, over the internet okay if you convert i want to convert into the AN line then i will show you the link i ordered this kit okay this was like 30 bucks and this came with a very much uh, pipe length plus the essential fittings the 90 degree the um, 45 all the fittings okay so that will be best okay and plus again you will order which has that white ptfe lining inside okay and if you want to add a gauge like i am using my fuel pressure gauge and then this will be adopter okay an6 male to an6 female and this has a gauge port okay for your fuel gauge adopter <coughs> the fuel pressure is connected through here okay this is a sensor just before the fuel rail so it this is the same pressure almost which is in the fuel rail third gear let's record it is use a rubber pipe okay the rubber fuel pipes but always use a good company good year parker etc etc et and that should be a sae j30 r7 standard okay i will show you how that looks that will not melt otherwise the normal rubber pipe uh, rubber pipe will melt uh, will leak uh, fuel after some time okay so they will they will deteriorate inside okay you won't know on the outside but inside they are uh, eating by eaten by the fuel okay so i will tell you j30 r7 that rubber pipe and again just insulate that and on the ends okay if you need when you will fit this fitting over this and just use a uh, this one these are called fuel injection clamps okay not these conventional this pipe clamps okay this is 11 to 13 just also order uh, 9 to 11 and another uh, form okay these are dirt cheap so you will have all the range and again if you use these rubber pipes then uh, sleeve them with the uh, vulcan sleeve another very important thing uh, my k series engine which i bought i think that was uh, stored in the uh, warehouse for years okay 
that's why all the injectors were blocked okay so when we fitted the engine we tried to start it everything will look the immobilizer was okay the wiring was okay the bus the engine was not starting up and then we removed the fuel rail and then we uh, uh, tried to prime the engine and there was nothing coming out from this injector so keep in mind that might happen to you if the engine is very very old the injector might be clogged or so in that case you can clean them up okay i will uh, not go into that detail how to clean the injector you can find other videos over that so please keep in mind one big reason can be in the not starting is injectors being blocked similarly the stock fuel pump is uh, more than enough for a nearly 300 horsepower okay there is another video series going in which i am testing the limit of this small fuel pump in the honda crd i am already using the uh, aem 340 lpi but i was about to change the fuel pump in my honda fit look at that that uh, uh, all the console cover is removed but i thought why not test the limits of this pump okay so i was surprised it is holding nearly 320 horsepower and still the injector duty cycle is 50 percent thousand cc injector this car is using so i think this is more than enough for 350 and that's my target if this works for 350 i will not be changing to this okay because this is oem honda these are always reliable okay so this covers our fuel line and let's open the pandora of the axles okay i have spare k series transmission so i have taken that out and i have also taken the axle out the crd one and the shafts axle shaft and the honda fit axle so let's discuss those in detail